Hey everybody, good afternoon to you or good evening basically. Um, dearest powers that be that pay the public sector workers, a quick question. I just want to know this. For contract workers, you know, contract workers, you know, if they do well, you know, and um, they're on a certain number of years contract, um, they are eligible to apply for gratuities. And I was trying to do, I was rather doing some research on how long gratuities take. And it actually takes 15 days to two months. And the 15 days was actually incorporating weekends and public holidays. Yes, because it really doesn't take that much time. Because we assume that the expert would, you know, the people who are gurus, you know, in auditing and looking at the salaries and, you know, whatever it is that they have to do to get the percentages of what it is to give for gratuities. We assume that, you know, that like the back of your hand, it is common assault. You know it. You know, there is no unusual phenomenon or phenomena or an anomaly that behoove, that is, um you know, above you, that is aloof. So... Um, yeah, I'm just curious as to why some persons, you know, I'm just curious to know why some persons have to wait a year and more months to get something that really should take a maximum of two months. Can you explain that to me, please? I ask of you, don't tell me that there is not enough money in the kitty because you guys get a lot of grants and aids and loans and bones yes so i'm just curious really you know the country's economy is budgeted for what a trillion dollars wow 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 woo, 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 woo. my gosh wow wow minister did a presentation to say that under their government you know that is the jlp's government they took unemployment down from 13.7 percent to six percent yes there are low hanging fruit jobs you know not the grandiose ones not the magnolias ones and mind you well let me insert this, this uh, you know once it is earning honest bread i'm in support of it to be very honest with you once you're earning an honest living i'm in support of it but we know the reality is that a country cannot properly thrive economically and even socially on low-hanging fruit jobs no disregard to anyone honestly not uh, any intended at all believe me but I just have to put reality out there so that people can understand the dilemma that Jamaicans are in. So we are saying, you know, back to the contract workers, especially ones that are may not necessarily fall under the low hanging fruits. Well, maybe they do. And we, we just can't seem to comprehend it or come to an acceptance, you know, because usually when you find contractual jobs, it is really not to pay benefits. And if you just want to get rid of the post you know quickly you can do so and other little negative things that we can talk about but i'm just curious minister and uh, you know the powers that be that pay public sector workers and for those who are eligible for their gratuities why the everlasting wait why the everlasting wait i don't want to hear that you know don't have any money because we know that that is not true but why the everlasting wait? Is it does it bother you guys to just pay out like a lump sum, you know, in one sweep? You can't just see yourselves, you know, giving you can't see yourselves giving a certain percentage of whatever the year's salary would be depending on the post, depending on the level and position and all of these things in one sweep. You know? It it you it you just hard for let go the money. You know? Your hands are like magnets. And the monies are like you know anything iron or metal related just can't let it go it's like glue is on the hand and the money being the paper just sticks you know i just i i'm trying to really understand why why 
what is it that the Jamaican people have done? Because I, we are clueless now as to the, the proper, in terms of giving a proper diagnosis or what may be causal, you know, to you guys not wanting to pay out monies properly to public sector work, you know? What is the cause and effect? What is the root cause? Yet we just can't seem to comprehend it. We can't seem to understand it. Power that being minister. So since we know it is not, it's, it has nothing to do with competence, is it laziness to really, you know, when it goes through different channels, um, for it to get to one department, then go to another, then probably a final department, and then the funds hit the person's account? Is there something, you know, is it laziness? Because you know that what that is word on the street with some public sector workers are most unfortunately that they're lazy and they don't like to do their jobs. Honestly, it has nothing to do with inability or not capable, not able, not competent. You know, I would want to think that those who are hired for positions are people who are competent. You know, we, we, we want to believe that. I believe in giving the benefit of of the doubt. It cannot be anything like, you know, because it's my friend and combolo. It cannot be anything like nepotism or anything. No, absolutely not. You're people of integrity, of course. No. So, what could be the hold? Because I have a co-worker, for example, who has waited one year and about three months that, that applying for this, the other gratuity has now come around so they have applied for the other one and ha the individual has not received the first one. I just applied for mine and I'm wondering if a similar situation would be, I hope not. I really do. You know, because I would want to consider myself as a contributing human being in the society in some ways, even if it is in the life of one human being, but I would want to think because I deliberately, intentionally, consciously, invariably, try to lift up others who may need it encourage others who may need it give back to others who will need it so i'm just curious as to why so because it's not not having enough money it is not incompetence i mean you know what i mean let me just try to think of what it could be i mean you know what i mean i'm stingy i wonder if i mean you know what i mean and just can't, you can't see yourself like the money so easily yet. You have to work yourselves up into releasing the funds that really technically belongs to the people. I mean, you know what I mean? And tight. We just want to know. You know? I'm wondering if I mean, you know what I mean? Because I can't understand for the life of me why the powers that be refuse to pay gratuities on time 15 days maximum two months because we hired you for your expertise in doing all of the processes quickly and timely expeditiously so i'm wondering if a tight and mean or no mean are lazy where do you fall on the spectrum where all in all um hmm. I'm just asking the powers that be to have a little mercy, have a little heart, have some compassion, extend grace, as it were, to the contract workers who would have applied for their gratuities and that they be paid in a timely fashion. It really and truly should not exceed two months. Because you guys are the experts. Everything doesn't have to be bureaucratic. Everything doesn't have to be drawn out. Execute some quick miracles. Let's put it that way. Sometimes, you know, since so many of us are living the lavish life financially. Please, powers that be. I know I'm being a little bit sarcastic now, but... I don't think you can blame many of us because we, we, we don't even know what emotion to emit anymore. This country has, we feel like we're just in a, in a whirlwind. Guys, follow me on TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this message.